Hey guys, it's Mac from Rev here, checking in again to give you another update on our drivetrain situation. So we went ahead and made a little bit of a narrower chassis, trying to do this a little bit faster this time around. So we have our, our little guy over here, and then we basically took the uh, channel drivetrain and also kind of inspired by our Mechanum drivetrain to a degree, uh, and ended up building a little bit of a lifted system. So we're gonna kind of see how the two of these kind of work. So let's take a look at some of the film that we recorded earlier in the warehouse. Now once we end up getting this robot moving, we're able to get it up and over that barrier with relative ease. The extra ground clearance by having the robot, uh, the wheels mounted where we have them, makes it a little bit easier to get up and over. We're also able to get over the end caps without having any problems uh, with the robot getting stuck or anything along those lines. It's also a big benefit with the way that we currently have this robot set up that all the wheels were powered so if any of the wheels did get stuck uh, it was easy enough for them to be able to break themselves free. Um, this is actually a relatively easy chassis to build out of an FTC starter kit. We have a bunch of the parts that are currently available in that kit. One of the things that we first things that we did is on the bottom of our channel we also have the slot extrusion profile so you're able to just attach a couple of pill pillow blocks to drop the axis of rotation for this wheel a little bit lower being able to buy that extra ground clearance because your uh, axle is no longer running in the middle of the channel but it's now running on the bottom of it so you're buying yourself a lot of extra ground clearance there the power transfer for this is just a gear to another gear on the top and you're able to just kind of slide this into place to make it easy enough to mesh in and kind of being able to go from there. One of the things that likely we're gonna to wanna to do is some little bit of a refinement here to see where else we're able to kind of get some efficiencies out of a starter kit. Since you're only running with one HD hex motor per side of your drivetrain with our channel drivetrain, likely what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to take this move these motors maybe to the middle or even maybe even keep them in the back um, using some sprocket and chain to be able to get both of these uh, powered as well as our as well as keeping the gears for the power transfer uh, and we're going to kind of see what we're able to do there uh, but all this stuff and all these parts do come in your FTC starter kit v3 so this is going to be an easy enough one to be able to build and keep going with I think this is gonna be the, the drivetrain that we were gonna go with for the rest of our prototyping here, and I, we're gonna to try to refine this one a little bit. Check in with us for some other updates on other videos as we're working through the weekend. And we hope to see what you guys are all up to uh, during your weekends as well.